Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody, have a nice day today. We will continue structure function. Today's topic is safety system safety quantification, minimal cut and path representation using structure function. The content of today's presentation, we will start with minimal path set and then see the structure function using minimum minimal path sets. Then a couple of examples we will discuss, then we will go to minimal cut sets where the same fault tree will be will be converted in such a manner that you will get the minimal path sets and then with set of a, we will see the structure function using minimal path sets and then few, uh, same examples number of examples will be uh, will be discussed. And we have taken material from this book, Published Risk Assessment and Management for Engineer and Scientist, written by Kumamoto and Henle. Uh, hope you will uh, enjoy it. And I, uh, I understood also that in the last class, when we have discussed the structure function, the, the fundamental mathematics behind it also been understood by you. So, this is in continuation with the previous lecture. So, all of you know cut set. So, you, you go back to that lecture where we have we have developed the cut sets for a fault tree using Mocha's algorithm um, and and you will you will see that the cut set particularly is a set when and if it is a minimal cut set then the all the events of that cut, cut set if occurs then the top event top failure event will occur. So, as a result uh, this is one cut set and with an this cut set with an AND gate linked with the top event using OR gate also. So, the AND because all those basic events should occur for the top event to occur. So, this is cut set 1. Similarly, second one cut set 2, cut set 3. So, like when you have the cut sets, minimal cut sets with you for a particular top event, then you can represent that in this form of fault tree. So, that means why it is OR gate? Any one of the cut set if occur lead to the top event to occur. Why AND gate? All the event in the cast set must occur for the top event to occur. Now, this um, explanation you have already seen. So, now what we will uh, we will just formally go for uh, the structure function of this particular fault tree. Then we will define uh, the, uh, the basic events uh, uh, in the cut sets. So, one is that how many cut sets we have let the this is cut set 1, cut set 2 and this is cut set m. So, we will basically use that j equal to 1 to m to represent the number of cut sets and then and against under each cut set there will be n, n number of events. So, for the first cut set there is n 1 events, second cut set there will be n 2 e, n 2 basic events like jth cut set there will be n j basic events. So, if I represent this as j, so this is n j basic events. So, that will be represented by i. So, i equal to 1 to n n i. Okay. So, 1 to n j if it is a jth cut set 1 to n j. Okay. This is the notation. Using this notation, 
we are defining these cut sheets. So, what is the first cut sheet? B11, B21 to BN1 j equal to 1, j equal to 1. So, BN1 into 1, this is the first cut sheet. Similarly, j cut sheet, similarly, m cut sheet. Now, if we want to define indicator variable for each of the event, then we also require to use i and j. So, y i j is the indicator variable for event b i j. i stands for the event, basic event, j stands for the particular cut state. So, that is what is written here that j refers to a particular cut state, i refers to an event in the cut state and m and n that variable m and n denote the number of cut set and number of component in the cut set respectively. So, if you write m is number of cut set then n j if I write here that the number of event basic or number of component in the jth cut set. So, that sense you can write. Okay, so, let me repeat first we have a fault tree from the fault tree you developed the found out all the basic um, cut sets minimal cut sets. So, from original fault tree to this minimal cut set fault tree that equivalent representation of original fault tree is this where as we know that a cut set means a set if all the element of that set occurs then top event occurs. So, if there are m cut sets that means, the m weighs the at least independent weighs that m um, any one of the cut sets leads to the top event to occur at least. So, what will happen that there will be one or two cut sets, three cut sets there can be uh, means m uh, many number of cut sets a uh, many number of combinations. So, that is why here OR gate is used and here AND gate is used that is for any any fault tree when it is represented by cut sets then the equivalent fault tree using cut set is this. And then then they are that for their notation for the basic events and all the cut set and the indicator indicator variable will be like this. Okay. So, so what happened now that means, we have the uh, fault tree with minimal cut sets and we have defined the notations. So, now what we want to see that what will be the structure function for it. So, let us see the structure function for this fault tree for this fault tree. So, structure function for the top event that we are writing psi y and it is an OR gate. So, we will be using this symbol. So, how many inputs are there? There are m inputs. So, j equal to 1 to m, m inputs. Now, again each of the AND gates, each of the AND gates there are n j number of inputs. So, because of AND gates and there are so many so many AND gates. So, what we will do basically we will put the bracket and then we will write that intersection i equal to 1 to n j indicator variable is y i j. Let me repeat because of OR gate you have to use union symbol. Okay. So, j equal to 1 to m union symbol because of end, end gate you are using intersection symbol and gate inputs inputs are b 1 j to b n j j. So, that is why i equal to 1 to n j y i j and and and, and or gate inter, uh, union symbol how many inputs m inputs that is why j equal to 1 to m that is what is your structure function here. So, that is what is written here. So, psi y equal to j equal to 1 to m union then intersection i equal to 1 to n j y i j. 
or this can be represented like this where this union is there this is nothing but the multiplication i equal to 1 to nj this. So, psi is this now when there is union. So, you know that this is basically the union case and when we put down the algebraic form you have to write like this 1 minus i equal to 1 to n this. So, that is what is written here. So, psi i psi y equal to 1 minus j equal to 1 to m 1 minus j equal to 1 to m and this quantity will be 1 minus j i equal to 1 to n j y i j. Okay. So, let me repeat so that you will not you will not get confused. First one we were defining psi y. What is psi y? Structure function for the top event. There are two gates or gate which will be denoted by union. Then there are another gate combination. So, the several AND gates. Okay. So, now how many AND gates are there? That is j equal to 1 to m. How many, how many inputs to a particular uh, AND gate? That is i equal to 1 to n j. What is the indicator variable? Y i j. So, this is my structure function. When you, try, when you go for writing it in algebraic form, this one that is the intersection part, you say that intersection part is this, this is basically multiplication one. So, the intersection part, this part is converted to this multiplication. When you write union, you will be writing in this form. So, but then this union part you are writing in this form that you have seen earlier in uh, last class. Okay. Now, what we do in order to get rid of this clumsy equation, we will put a, a uh, structure function which is k j y then for and gate for this gate. So, for this gate you know that is AND gate means it will be the intersection. So, that means, k j y is denoted by like this. How many inputs? n j inputs. So, i equal to 1 to n j y i j. So, this is basically structure function for the AND gate. So, then for this what will happen? Here this equation will be changed to this 1 minus j equal to 1 to n then intersection j equal to 1 to m 1 minus k j y. Okay, so, this is what is your structure function representation for the minimal structure function for the minimal Cartesian representation of a fault tree. So, what happened? This is the final form and this one is the structure function for and get. So, once you know this now given a fault tree you can very easily find out the final structure function. So, that is what we will see now. Let us concentrate on this example. So, this example, this example, this is the fault tree A, B, C basic events, three basic events it is an AND gate, this is OR gate, this is the starting point. We have converted this to equivalent fault tree using cut set of this fault tree. What are the cut set? Cut set will be what will be there will be two cut sets A must occur, B or C occurrence will lead to so A, B and A, C. So, there are two minimal cut sets A, B and A, C. So, this one is represented by like this. So, when we know the cut sets, so first you will be you must know how many cut sets here two cut sets. So, two AND gates will be there and input to the every AND gate will be the element of the cut set first one is A and B. So, A and B second one A and C A and C then these AND gates will be linked with the top event by an OR gate. So, OR gate. Okay. 
Now what we will do, we have al earlier seen that for minimal cut representation, what is the structure function? The minimal cut representation, the structure function is this. So, first find out the structure function for this. So, this one will be k 1 y, k 1 y is here a and b. Okay. So, that means this is y 1, this is y 2, again this is y 1 and this is y 2 if we say. So, a b sorry a b c y 1 y 2 y 3, a is y 1 y 2 y 1 y 2. Okay. So, now this is AND gate. So, it will be y 1 y 2 k 1 y is y 1 y 2. Now, k 2 y is y 1 y 3. So, you have k 1 y and k 2 y. Now, the structure function representation with OR gate will be this. Now, put 1 minus this one j equal to 1. 1 minus k 1 y and j equal to 2 1 minus k 2 y, k 1 y is y 1 y 2 and k 2 y is y 1 y 3. So, this is your structure function. Now, what happened? If you do little more exercise manipulation, then you will be getting this expression. So, y 1 y 2 plus y 1 y 3 minus y 1 y 2 y 3. So, instead of using this structure from uh, this minimal representation, if you simply start with this and use the structure function, you will also come to this equation. Okay. So, but when you make minimal cut representation, things become easier because of this simple structure and or and and gate only. First find out the and gate structure functions, then use the OR formula algebraic form and get the final structure function. And now, if you want to find out the QST at time t equal to 2, this will be expected value of psi y, then expected value of everything, expected value of y 1 y 2 plus expected value of y 1 y 3 minus expected value of y 1 y 2 y 3 as y 1, y 2, y 3 are independent. So, this will be multiplication of the expected value, this will be multiplication of its expected value, expected value of y 1, expected value of expected value of y 3, similarly this. Okay. So, I hope that now it is clear, I hope so, it should be clear. Let us see another example. Here you see what is happening. This is my original fault tree. So, we have found out all the cut states. How many cut states are there? Four minimal cut states. Now, these four minimal cut states, this is 1, 2, 3 and 4. First one has no gate, it is straight away 1. So, directly with this OR gate. Here you will be getting k suppose ok, if you write k 1 y equal to this is basically a, k 2 y this will be b c, k 3 y this will be b d e like this. So, k 1 y y a y a, k 2 y y b y c, y b and y c, k 3 y y d y b y d and y e, we are using the uh, indicator variable. So, that is why I, uh, we will not write b and c, we will write multiplication of the indicator variable. So, this one y b, y d and y f. So, now structure function this is or gate you know this formula. So, 1 minus k 1, 1 minus k 2, 1 minus k 3 and 1 minus k 4 because 4 cut sets are there. Uh, e, e, what happened? You just decompose it further to do its lowest form, you will be getting the another the final form and then you use the expected value and get the QST and finally, the availability all those things. Let us see another one. So, here is another example, this is the Pesetang rupture case. So, how many cut sets we have? 
we have so many cut sets, seven minimal cut sets. So, seven AND gates, seven AND gates including this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, here also one item and okay. So, that means seven structure functions for AND gate K1 to K7 and those all those seven structure function linked with OR gate use the formula, this formula and then finally, you get this and then again go to the lowest level if required. Just you check that if, if in the product term there is repeat events, then you have to go to the lowest level. If the, suppose this one B1, here B2, B4, here B2, B5, yes repeat events are there. Here B2, B6, B3, B4, so that means you go to the lowest level representation and then take the expected value. Hmm. Otherwise, you have to use some more formula like uh, partial pivotal decomposition exclusion um, inclusion formula. Here you see that voting gate case, this voting gate, this voting gate equivalent cut set representation is this, this structure function you have already seen. Now, here what happened you will you will <coughs> you see that ok, here uh, let me let me add here just some um, ok, just some mistake in the sense of indicator variable. So, for indicator variable this will be we are we are writing like this that this is y b 1 y b 2 y b 2 y b 3 y b 3 y b 1. So, in that way you will use in terms of y. Okay. So, fine. So, this is not a problem and you can do it very easily you can do it. So, now let us see that uh, second one that yeah here we are using y 1, y 2, y 3 or y b 1, y b 2, y b 3. So, if you use y b 1, y b 2, this will again become clumsy. So, that is why straight away we use y 1, y 2, y 3 and this particular example I have shown you in the last class also, then I have shown that the Q s t is changing. Basically, Q s t if you if you use expected value earlier and then the QST value and when you go for the lowest level decomposition the QST value is different and that is what the dependent product terms. So, wherever there are dependent product terms, so, so what you will do you will basically better to reduce up to the lowest level otherwise you have to use that partial pivotal decomposition method or inclusion exclusion approach method in between uh, to, to, to get rid of uh, of exploring or digging it into or up to uh, the lowest level of resolution. Okay. So, <clears throat> I hope that you have understood it. Okay. This is what is our cut set representation. Now, what I will do? I will just go to the second part of today's presentation that the minimal path representation. You have seen that the cut set talks about the failure and path set talks about the success. So, but we are interested in the <coughs> failure part. So, what will happen if you create find out the path sets and then and you want to find out the top event failure, then the simple rule is here that in the cut set representation AND gate will be converted to OR gate in the path set representation and cut set representation OR gate will be converted into AND gate in the path set representation keeping the basic events as failure event and top event as failure event. So, as a result if you if you go back and see the minimal path representation in terms of card minimal cut sets. So, you have seen that here we have used sorry here we have used this OR gate and here everywhere we have used AND gate this is for card representation. So, <coughs> but the these are all failure events and this is also failure events. In path representation what happened? We keep this failure event and top failure event intact. 
So, in order to go for path representation, this and OR gate is converted into AND gate and AND gate is converted into OR gate. So, that is basically path representation. Now, what will happen uh, or when the top event will occur? You see this is OR gate means any one of the uh, any one basic event of the minimum path set here also any one of these path set any one of these path sets all those things at least at least one in each of the path set if occur then top event will occur because this or will be satisfied and finally and will also be satisfied so that's why what happened in the path representation we are basically saying that any one any one uh, basic event in the path set uh, at least one event leads to the top event to occur but those events for the path sets what you have found out earlier so, okay. so, with this structure function we have to develop, but structure function looks into the gate, what gate? This is my AND gate. So, my structure function the first part is intersection, this is OR gate. So, in the second part it is union. So, union i equal to 1 to n j, y i j is the indicator variable and Inter, this is AND gate intersection how many cut, uh, path sets m path sets j equal to 1 to m. So, this is my structure function. So, this one can be written like this now algebraic form of this is 1 minus this and finally, for this one if we decompose further. So, algebraic form will be this. So, this is a final algebraic form. Now, then, then what will happen here now we will we will just find out that structure function here this is for rho 1 y this is rho j y and this is rho m y that means structure function for OR gate you find out and then put into this equation. So, structure function for OR gate for the jth OR gate we can write like this rho j y equal to this because it is OR gate. 1 minus inter uh, that uh, multiplication of all those into 1 minus y i j. This is written here. So, now this one 1 minus this means this. So, if I put rho j y here this function will be like this. Okay. So, that means if you go for minimal path representation what you have to do? You have to first find out the structure function for all the OR gates which is basically input to the top event using logic and get and then find out the structure function everywhere and get its algebraic form and then and get this is the multiplication form. So, that way it will be written like this. Okay. So, using this analogy or using this representation we will see all those examples what we have seen for the cut set representation. So, let us see first one this is my fault tree this is path representation. So, how many path set two path sets and so, so here row 1 row 1 y will be nothing but y a and, and row 2 y will be nothing but this. Okay. So, row 1 y a row 2 y a is found and you put into this equation you get this final this is my representation for structure function. The second example this is leakage of gas this is original fault tree here this is the minimal path set representation four path sets are there a b a c d a c b and a c e f and then we have generated four cut set structure function you found out every one and then finally, you you have end. So, you multiplied all those cut set structure function and if you decompose it you will be get, this is the function and further you can multiply and get the values. Okay. 
once you have the psi y you know how to calculate the unavailability the same formula you will be using you see this is another one pressure tank rupture this is original fault tree this is our path representation how many only two paths but in cut set you have seen there are so many cut sets here path set two paths so two structure functions for the two or gates then final structure function which is multiplication and you are getting this equation so i am repeating this for these things because you will you will have more uh, example and you will be able to practice and then you find out that uh, what is, you know, what way it should be done it is not a tough task don't don't get exhausted by this that uh, different uh, that help, uh, that equations uh, like the symbols don't get over uh, exerted by this think for the concept first then put the equations so for for your benefit first is the fault tree then the path representation once you have the path sets the if there are m path sets there will be m or uh, struct, m structure functions for m or gates and then final structure function for the top event and that final structure function will be the multiply the multiplication of the or all of all of the or gate structure functions okay and then rest of the things are algebraic only you have to just uh, manipulate algebraically and final form you will get you can use expected value in between if you find that there is no uh, that uh, that uh, terms are not repeating uh, in 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 the product terms uh, or the basic events are not repeating in the product terms so otherwise it is better always better to um, to find out the lowest level of equations okay by lowest level we are saying that when the the dec uh, that uh, decomposition stop here you cannot further uh decomposed these things all those arithmetic operation algebraic operations are finished okay so then another one so this one you have seen that this voting gate one its path sets you found out three path sets in fact because of the 2 by 3 path and cut sets having almost that similar you know, structure and you are finally getting this expression okay so this is what is our uh, lecture today and uh, we we have uh, taken the concept from this book and please uh, let me uh, i can say summarize so what is this we have started with system safety quantification that is very very important now in system safety quantification we consider fault tree first and we have considered that there is one top event by unavailability we say that probability of top event that is the unavailability qst then once you have unavailability you can find out availability and other things our sole purpose in the in the system safety quantification basically how to find out the unavailability that mean how to find out the probability of top event probability of top event given a fault tree there are many methods like gate by gate method cut set method all those things are there in this particular uh few lectures last few lectures under system safety quantification we have started with quantification that rbd reliability block diagram then we have shown you that truth table then we have shown you the structure function structure function that is the um, fundamental structure one the basic one basic one means from the fault tree only then we have shown you the minimal cut set and structure function finally minimal path set and path set and 
structure function. The sole purpose is basically make the system safety quantification issue simpler. So, there will be a certain case where RBD will be better, when you have a series system RBD is better, when you have a parallel system RBD is better, but if there are system like parallel series and parallel combination may be RBD is not that easy. So, there may be some structure like bridge structure when you will find out RBD is difficult. So, there you may find out the truth table is useful. Now, truth table basically is an enumerated one, it will basically give you all possible combinations. So, that is why it is a uh, it is probably the more, uh, more accurate one or otherwise I, I can say this is uh, one your your knowledge about this total system in terms of the top event occurrence will be much more clear nitty gritty is known. Then what happened uh, then we have gone for the structure function. In structure function instead of using the basic event probability we, we, we have used the indicator variable for all the basic events because the basic events have uh, two states either it is uh, event exist or event does not exist. So, that means then indicator variable y i equal to 1 or 0 depending on event exist or does not exist. Then with the fault tree and an or gate structure what happened the, stru the structure function for the top event is possible where the indicator variable y psi y equal to 1 or 0 depending on top event exists or does not exist. Now, when the fault tree will be very big then you will it will be very difficult for you uh, to find out the structure function uh, using the from the basic fault tree. It is better to convert the fault tree to uh, that equivalent um, that minimal cut fault tree or minimal path fault tree and then what will happen there you will be having only uh, two sets two uh, sets uh, basically two um, gates or an AND gate. So, in case of minimal cut set you will be finding out the all AND gate structure function first and then the OR gate using OR gate the top event structure function will be created and for the uh, minimal path set what you will do you will first find out the um, OR gate structure function and then uh, final another one M AND gate structure function where inputs will be the all the uh, path sets. So, when there is uh, AND gate it is basically simply multiplication when there is OR gate then it will be 1 minus that multiplication of 1 minus all indicator variables. Suppose and, and if that means there will be there will be product terms in the in the structure function representation 1 minus some product term and in the product term if you find out there are dependent dependent basic event means the event appearing in uh, more than once in different uh, different product terms under such situation you re it is it is recommended that you basically um, explore or find out the lowest level equation and then use the expected value of indicator variables to find out the uh, top event on a uh, top event available top event occurrence or uh, unavailability of the system uh, if in me to if the product terms are deep independent then then you don't require to require to decompose this to the lowest level and in between you can use the expected value of the indicator variable and uh, your solution qst which is the unavailability of the system will be calculated so this is what is the um, what is our system safety quantification and uh, all of you please go through the book written by uh, that kumamoto and henley probabilistic risk assessment and management for engineers thank you very much